Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at Miss Fan Favorite Draculaura. I don't think any Draculaura doll has ever like had a bad fan reception lately. And obviously G3 Draculaura is still that girl. And honestly, I feel like Draculaura had probably the best redesign. And I don't understand why a lot of people hate the split die. I actually really, really love it. And of course I am biased because I do typically have split die myself. Honestly, I think it's actually really, really cool. And it's just one doll. But anyways, guys, today we're looking at Draculaura. Laura. Thank you so much, Mattel, for sending me one. I did buy one myself as well. Honestly, I'm super happy to have two now. I'm planning on doing an in and out of box collection for just the basics of Monster High G3. We shall see. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let me roll my intro real quickly and we can get into Draculaura. go no. Okay guys, so today we're looking at Draculaura from G3. We've looked at a few ghouls now and I'm super excited to do Draculaura. I've been wanting to open her so badly because he is one of my favorite designs from G3. Like Draculaura's dolls have just been hitting and I really, really love them. Converting it to a Draculaura stand. I mean, obviously Frankie's always going to be my main. So don't, don't get it twisted. But I guess I can see why everyone loves Draculaura. She has a different body type uh, along with all the other ones. Hers is shorter and she also is a little more fuller. I think it perfectly fits Draculaura. I feel like Monster High lacked body diversity back in the originals they were all kind of just like the same body type and the only thing different sometimes was just the heights they never had like different thicknesses and i think the only doll that really was considered a more curvy was kala basically an octopus in a way so it didn't really count because like she didn't have like legs or anything it was, she was just like a fish person you know so i'm actually really happy that they're doing different body types and a different height it's definitely something i really wish that the original had and i'm happy that g3 is doing it because i think draculaura looks beautiful either way you can find draculaura now in stores she's $24.99 if you want them right now good luck <laughs> so far draculaura has been the hard one to find because everyone wants draculaura the others she has the same shape as the other core dolls there the background is kind of just a hodgepodge of colors kind of blending into each other in an ombre effect i actually really think it looks really pretty a lot of people don't like the boxes i actually don't mind them but i do really really wish that they did more cardboard rather than more plastic you can see draculaura is in the middle you can see all of her little accessories on the side count fabulous has returned they are a completely different shape and mold I'll get the original out and do a comparison after. Right here, you can see Dracula's art next to Claudine and Laguna's, and it also says her name. And on this side, we have the original Monster High logo. It's just got some kind of shift to it. As for the sides of Dracula's box, you can see it's just a bunch of bats and perfume and very girly, just like a Draculaura. And on this side, we have the iconic Monster High logo. As for the back of the box, we have a full body illustration of Draculaura. And then over here, we have the other four ghouls on the stairs, and they're just in the Monster High hallways, all just vibing. And then for Draculaura's About Me section, it says her name. Her monster type is in Fing Tastic Vampire. Her monster must haves are SPF 500 and Cherry Juice. And her monster pet is Count Fabulous, along with the Monster High website down below. So, obviously, because I got mine at Macy's, um, that's the Macy's barcode next to the return label. So, if you're looking for Draculaura without the Macy's barcode, here is her barcode. Anyways, guys, it's time to open Draculaura. So, let's get her open, shall we? And finally, Draculaura is out of her box. She's so cute out of box. I really do think they designed Draculaura's core doll for G3 super nice. Did you see that head pull? Like, ugh. But anyways, guys, before we look at this cute little Draculaura, let me show you everything that she comes with. So to start off, she comes with Count Fabulous. He is back this time around. I'm not sure if it's a he anymore, but they also have... Love that. They also changed the design completely. They're more chibi and they almost look like a pup, a bat pup. I'm not sure if that's a real thing, but so they're this kind of like deep plum purple. They're kind of like an eggplant purple color and they have some pink hues in their ears. They still have the cute little pink bow and a little collar on their neck. They have heart eyebrows and they have purple eyes and even the wings have some pink shading on them as well. And the head doesn't seem to move, but it kind of does. And there's nothing on the back. For Draculaura's bag, I actually think she has the cutest bag out of all the dolls. It has this really huge heart backpack and it has kind of like this tufted look to it. It has little black bat wings that are painted obviously and the straps on the side are just pink and there's nothing right here. And the bag's supposed to open but like mine's is like not budging for whatever reason. Dracula also comes with a pair of glasses. They're these little heart frame bat wing glasses that are made of a gray transparent glossy plastic. One of her food items is a cherry slushy. It is made of a red transparent plastic. It has a cherry decal on it as well and it does open. Her last food item is a pretzel in its little holder and the pretzel 
comes out. For the holder, it is pink and triangular and it looks like spider webs. And the pretzel is so cute. It's like a normal pretzel color with the little salt gradients on it. And it has a face that looks terrified because it's probably about to be eaten. From Gloom Beach, this is Draculaura's exact like SPF 500 from Gloom Beach. Like identical, same color, same label, everything. Every one of these G3 core dolls come with their eye coffin. This is Draculaura's. The screen is very pixelated and it kind of looks very dark, but you can see all the apps on Draculaura's phone. As for her case, you can see there's a bat on the top and this is what the back of it looks like. Spiderweb with these vampire lips that are in the shape of a heart. And last but not least is her fabric item or her extra piece of clothing. It's this little cape. It's made of a black kind of stretchy material. It has a really cute foil design on the top. You can see those little bats and hearts. Collar as well. And it does tie with this pink ribbon. Okay guys, so here is basic G3 Draculaura. I'm actually really excited to actually have this doll. So G3 Draculaura is super cute. She is on a petite body type, so she is actually smaller this time around. They didn't give her that body back in the day for whatever reason. She's also got a more fuller figure than the other ghouls. I'm obviously going to show you what she looked like originally in her 2010 doll, so stay tuned towards the end. But anyways guys, let's start looking at Draculaura. So Draculaura has saran hair, it is pink and black, and it is split down the middle like split dye. It's very Melanie Martinez. Really love that, especially because she has a bang. She also has this headband on. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's quite chunky, but it's a hot pink color with a black bat bow. If we move on to her face, I love her face so much. I think they did a great job on Draculaura's face and screening. I do want to see a Draculaura looking straightforward. I wonder what that would look like, but she has a side glance. She also has black brows under her bangs. As for her eyeshadow look, it's pretty much just pink and there's some white on the lid as well. For her eyes this time around, they're pink and purple. And her little birthmark this time is just completely black and it kind of just looks more like a birthmark rather than what Draculaura's originally looked like. As for her lipstick color, she has this really cute pink lipstick on with her little white things. And something cute about this Draculaura is her little elf bat ears poking through her hair. Now as for her earrings, they are the same mold, they're just in different colors. So they're these little dangle hoops that have that exact bat wing heart. One is black and one is a hot pink color. And they're cute, they do the job. If we move on to Draculaura's outfit, it's actually Actually three pieces. I had no clue about that. We have this satin material top that has some white threading going through it. These are actual threads and they're not like printed on. I was kind of surprised by that. We have some little bats and hearts on it. And there's also this patent leather black bow the pendant right there there and that's just the shirt and then that is placed on top of this sheer and it has these very puffy kind of balloon sleeves and it is made of like this meshy kind of sheer shiny kind of fabric it's really pretty and it also has a collar if you can see right there and it drapes down and you can see there's all of this cute detail work i know what this is called but right now my head is just not working properly and it cuts down the middle and it's all hemmed which is great because i feel like if you didn't hem this material it would fray and it'd be like a nightmare and then under that she's wearing these black shorts that have white hearts on them with little black fang and they are hemmed at the bottom and also cuffed. They're made of this super thick like cotton material. I was kind of taken back by that. I thought they'd be like a thinner material but they're actually made of a really thick material. Everything velcros in the back by the way. Jekyllar also has this really huge chunky ring on and I'm not the biggest fan of it because it kind of doesn't stay on unless she's obviously rubber banded. Uh, I'm probably going to take it off her because I'm not the biggest fan of it but um, yeah let me know your thoughts on that. Kind of reminded you of like a 90s Barbie ring in a way. And then if we move on to her stocking that stop around almost the knee. It has some frilly bits on the top and they're actually really, really cute. I love the little socks. And she seems to be like one of the only characters wearing heels in the basic wave. And they're these cute little pink heels that have that bat heart in the center, which is a lighter pink. I'm gonna bring out G1 at Draculaura and we're gonna do a little comparison. So BRB. Okay guys, so here is G1 Draculaura. This is the original 2010 release. I washed her this year. I have a video about that. And then here is the new one. As you can already see, there's a big stark difference. <laughs> For one, she's a lot pinker than her. Like I thought Draculaura was pink, but this Draculaura is like pink pink and it's not even just because she's wearing a lot of pink like her skin tone is like pinker and honestly I like it more on this doll than her original but yeah I really like the new Dracula skin tone a lot more as you can see the hair is obviously different as well she does have her bangs still which is good they are pointed and obviously the split dye is present on the new one while the original had mainly black hair with hot pink streaks and I do really want them to do a Dracula with pigtails one day I think it would have been so cute for like the slumber party line that's coming out as for the makeup you can see it is drastically 
different. <laughs> As for the fashion sense, it has changed a lot. There are still some little elements of the original NG3, not too, too many, but as you can see by the body types too, they are drastically different. I actually really do prefer the new body type over the original. As much as I love G1 Monster High, they're iconic, don't get me wrong, but like, I don't know, this doll just feels sturdier and I don't feel like she's gonna break on me like this doll. And obviously the original originals had like gold elastic joints and this doll has that. And obviously new dolls don't do that anymore. So I'm happy about that. As for the shoe department, G1 Dracula wins that one because obviously nothing can compare to G1 Monster High shoes unless they want to start getting on that route. But yeah, that's the Draculaurus. Now let's compare the Count Fabuluses. Now looking at these two, they don't look anything alike. There's no similarities at all. This is a completely different species. <laughs> I do think that this one is just so much dorkier than this one and I do prefer this one. We definitely love this Count Fabulous. Okay guys, now that we have looked at both Draculaurus, I'm going to put her on a stand and also put her in her cape and other stuff and we can add off this review. I'm saying and a lot. I'm so sorry. Okay guys, I decided to put G3 Draculaurus next to her G1 counterpart. And honestly, guys, I am very happy with Draculaura. I think her doll is probably the best out of G3 so far with redesign wise. I love the split dye hair. I really do like the pink in her outfit. I do kind of wish she had a little more black in her outfit, but I think the pink is perfectly fine. I do feel like they are kind of doing a balance of both colors. And it makes sense because that's kind of her vibe. <laughs> I really love her face though. Like this face is amazing. I love the side glance. It adds to like the character. Um, I love the new body type. I love how she's smaller. You can even see it right here she's smaller than her normal self and they are both on the same monster high stand so i don't know this doll is just so cute and i really recommend getting her like she is a 10 out of 10 like there's no debate right here you know like i feel like she has been probably one of the harder ones to find along with frankie um everywhere i go i find everyone else but those two characters and i guess torlai too like she's not really that common here <laughs> but yeah guys i really want to know your thoughts on g3 draculaura i wouldn't change anything about her to be honest um maybe just a little bit more black but other than that i think she's so cute and I really am excited to see how she's gonna be in this reboot like we've already seen four dolls I own three of those dolls <laughs> but yeah I really like this one and I want to know your thoughts on her down below and guys that ends off my G3 Dracula review babe. if you're new to my channel hi my name is Jay and I do doll stuff duh and I'd love you to join the channel if you're not following me on Instagram or on TikTok it's at zombiexcorn you should follow me there as well also I want to know who's your favorite count fabulous <laughs> but yeah guys I will see you in my next video but for now bye